this video, I'm going to show you how to export a list of Active Directory user accounts and then uh, bulk update them using the Active Directory Pro Toolkit. So first, come into Export Users and then uh, select the columns that you want to update. Um, I'm just going to do a couple here, so I'll remove the ones that I don't want. Um, and it's important to it's important to include one of these attributes because when you update the accounts, you can use one of these attributes to identify the accounts uh, to update. So SAM account name, user principal name, mail employee ID, and employee number. Uh, you must include one of those in the export. So I'll use SAM account name. Um, I'll update the manager, the office, department, and description. I'll leave company too. So the rest of these I will remove. Click OK. And then uh, you can click Run. By default, it will export all accounts. Uh, but I'm going to choose an OU. I'm going to export all my accounts from my management OU. So I'll just select it and then click Run. So when it's done, you can click Export. And I'll export it to a CSV. Now I just need to open that CSV and make some modifications and then I'll run an update. Okay, so here's the template. So remember, um, you got to choose one account or one attribute uh, to use to identify the accounts to update. So I'm using the same account name. So you got to change that column to ID. Um, if I were using employee ID or mail attribute or user principal name, you change that column to ID. So now it's just a matter of changing the rest of these values to whatever I want to update them to. So I'll uh, modify this, save it, and then I'll walk through, uh, run the updater tool. Okay, I've made the changes to the template, so I will just save it. And then I will select the user modification tool. And if you're using anything other than the same account name, you'll need to click on update options and choose the column. So if you change user principal name to ID, you'll need to select uh, that from the drop down. If you change the mail to ID, select that. But if you use same account name and you change it to ID, it's uh, selected by default. So I'll select my template run and now it's running through all of those accounts in the file and updating them so there I just updated 22 accounts and that is it you can you can go back to the export users tool or you can run an all users report uh, and just verify uh, all those attributes have been updated you can also just come into active directory and view it that way uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.